Hello and welcome to Lok Talks. This is Dr. Lokesh Bhatia. Dear friends, today I'll be talking to you on a very uh, much in demand topic. A lot of my patients have communicated to me that we need an educational video on trigger finger. A lot of patients in OPD they keep reporting to us, and in spite of explanation, since a lot of my patients are following my uh, videos on my YouTube channel, so they said that we have got videos on knee, hip. Spine, care, a lot of other problems, but still, hand we have not covered up. Uh, so, please talk on trigger finger. In this video, I'm going to talk to you on trigger finger today. Namaskar, welcome to Lok Talks. Thank you very much for subscribing to this channel for professional medical guidance, spirituality and meditation, and life coaching. Here is my WhatsApp number. Do connect me in person if you need and if you have any question. Thank you. So, trigger finger. Is a condition that affects one or more fingers of the hand, leading to difficulty in moving. It gets the finger gets stuck, it's the freezing, or it gets caught, right? When you try to straighten it, the predominant reason for this is that the tendon becomes too large for the tendon sheath that it passes through a kind of a tunnel, and then that prevents it from moving and can cause a clicking sensation. Trigger finger is more accurately referred to as either stenosing tenosynovitis or a stenosing tenovaginitis. Well, genosis also very often this uh, ring finger is commonly involved, but thumb is also very commonly involved. In few cases, in some cases, that might affect more both hands as well. Most important point to understand here is the stiffness. Or a clicking, and when making the movement, and it results in a lot of discomfort, and at times it feels one feels the nodular feeling at the base of the thumb or the base of that particular finger. But what precisely might have caused this condition? How do you know if the area of the symptoms are likely to be caused by trigger finger rather than something else? Let's. Look at the eight common causes. Number one is arthritis. Remember, the reason that the condition occurs is that the tendon is no longer moving correctly through the tendon sheath. Most often, this tendon itself or the sheath has become inflamed and swollen. There are many potential causes of swelling and inflammation, likewise, but the most common culprit is probably arthritis. There are many different types of arthritis which can be caused by the wear and tear system and whichever form this can result in development of trigger finger and make it harder to move the fingers as well as making them more painful. The second is age. Age should never be an explanation in itself in uh, theoretically there is no reason we can't remain completely healthy in old age of course it is true that many elderly people do not suffer from trigger finger however sometimes it is not apparent precisely what is causing the condition and all that is known is what affects older individuals in this case, the trigger finger is more likely to appear over 40 years of age, suggesting that might be some element of wear and tear. So, particularly the lifestyle also and other morbid conditions also, like arthritis and other conditions, might are more popular in older age. The third factor is hormonal. There is definitely a role for hormones in the development of trigger finger. This condition is more commonly affecting women than men, which may be linked with estrogen production. Likewise, it occurs more frequently in women who have hormone imbalances. Many of us think of hormones as predominantly affecting our moods. In fact, though, hormones regulate countless different processes throughout the body ranging from weight gain and weight loss to control of immune system. 
Increase in estrogen are well known to cause swelling and this could potentially play a role in formation of trigger finger. Um, one of the example of the hormone condition may be linked to uh, with a trigger finger is hypothyroidism which slows down metabolism and alters the release of hormones. Other symptoms include acne, tiredness and weight gain. Fourth is medications. Certain medications may increase the likelihood of developing trigger finger, especially those that act on metabolism. This might also be true that the performance enhancing drugs and even recreational drugs in some instances. For example, anabolic steroids will work by increasing the testosterone that is male hormone, but this can then metabolize to create extra estrogen. This can lead to a number of unwanted side effects that run contrary to the intended use. One such side effect is swelling, which can lead to a look of puffiness. Though the water retention can also cause joint pain and discomfort. Fifth cause is Duputrin's contracture. Duputrin's contracture is the condition that affects all the connective tissues of the palm of the hand and this sometimes causes the finger to bend into the palm of the hand and results in the contraction development. The, all the movements of the fingers becomes uh, affected. Of course, in this scenario, you might also experience that the fingers sticking and jamming and might notice the pain associated with the trigger finger than if you suspect you are experiencing Dupuytren's contraction. It is important that you get the help of a doctor right away. Sixth cause is the surgery. The surgery of the hand may lead to trigger finger temporarily or permanently. For instance, a similar condition is a carpal tunnel which is likely to cause pain irritation affecting the tendons that control the finger movements. If you have a carpal tunnel syndrome, then you might require surgery or in order to restore the normal pain and the movements. So in this instance, it might lead to irritation, tendons or the damage to the tendon sheath, either of which can then be in turn lead to trigger finger. If it's normal to feel stiff and experience discomfort following any surgery, however, if this discomfort seems to go for a long time without getting better, then you should speak with a consultant, particularly a hand consultant, who may give you local steroid injections first. Well, the seven causes repetitive strain injury. And this is simple irritation that can occur from repetitive acts performing same movement over and over again, like vibrating tools. In theory, the body does not have any set numbers of movements before it runs out. Our bodies are constantly rejuvenating and themselves and replenishing cells. Therefore, the damage should be repaired as we go. That said, However, if we are moving unnatural or uncomfortable way and we are doing it this repeatedly, then it might eventually lead to issues affecting the joints and tendons. In this case, the trigger finger potential cause could be a lot of typing, especially on the keyboard, on the mouse also. It can also result in it can also result from use of the texting, repeated texting on the mobile. It is also called the mobile thumb or uh, when it happens in the thumb, you know, trigger finger happening in the thumb. So these are the commonest reasons. The mobile thumb or uh, trigger finger, which is more common in middle finger, ring finger, these are all which can develop a nodular feeling in the hand. These are all the possible probable causes. The night time it happens much more. The sleep might uh, be getting affected because of it. 
Regarding the treatment part, usually it responds well to the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications which are supposed to be taken only by a prescription by a qualified doctor. You can definitely see a nearby orthopedic surgeon or a physician who can prescribe you non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications for this purpose. Uh, usually it does respond very well to physiotherapy also. Physiotherapist can give ultrasound therapy. A uh, physiotherapist can also give, uh, there are some uh, more uh, muscular uh, stimulants also, they also do help in reducing the inflammation there. So, and when there is acutely inflamed, in just two or uh, one or two days it has happened and uh, you can do some cold fermentation as well. Uh, how to do cold fermentation? I can leave a link, you can click on that, learn how to do hot and cold fermentations. and. Um, in fact, it's not very difficult to diagnose this problem and invariably it just uh, settles in almost 80-90% of patients. It doesn't need any uh, surgical uh, treatment. But yes, if uh, in some 5-10% to of patients, if it doesn't uh, settles down by non inflammatory medications, by physiotherapy, then they may have to be resorted to surgery. Uh, one of the possible options which uh, has worked out in very well in my experience, I normally recommend uh, that they should take 5-7 to seven days of anti-inflammatory medication or certain anti-inflammatory medications like Declofenac or uh, whatever else, the personal choice of your recommending doctor. I recommend patients to push the swelling in this direction uh, so that to make that pulley little more um, spacious uh, and then keep making that movement so it results in that uh, kind of a shaving effect on that nodular uh, swelling which is developed in the tendon. Uh, so this may work out and many of my patients it has worked out very well. So this is all about trigger finger. Uh, I'm sure uh, those who have um, experience in this past or uh, presently also facing this problem might have a appreciated this knowledge of what I have shared in this video. Stay tuned to Talks. If you are not yet subscribed, do subscribe to Talks and make sure that you share this video with all your friends. Thank you very much.